Hey guys, so I'm posting this video up very last minute and it is really unprofessional. I have no lighting. It's just like the natural light coming in. I'm literally on my knees like in my kitchen floor, but I just wanted to post this up for you guys really quick and it's basically some of my best like New Year's resolution advice or tips that I wanted to give you guys. So my very first like tip or advice is to not just set goals once a year on New Year's. I know that it's like it reminds us on New Year's that we're supposed to set goals and all these different things like, oh, I want to lose weight or whatever. But like that should not be something that we do just once a year. It should literally be something that you write down once a month, once a week, or even every day. Um, and it's kind of like, you know, if you have like a notepad of like things you need to get done for the day, it should be like that for your, your goals. I don't like to call them dreams. I like to call them goals. <laughs> dreams feel, feel like things that are like something we'd like to do, but probably never will like take those dreams and make them goals. Um, find ways on how you're going to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish in your life. Write them down and get them done. <laughs> so that's my first thing. Don't just make a new year's resolution or goals once a year, do it every month, every week or every day. My next thing is to create some sort of dream book or like vision board. I know you guys have heard about that. On New Year's Eve, instead of like going out and partying, getting drunk with your friends, like, yeah, that's fun, but it gets old. Get some people together that are like-minded and make dream books or goal books or vision boards of like what you wanna achieve, things that you wanna bring into your life for the new year. And uh, you know, put it somewhere where you're gonna see it every day. Um, and for a book, you can just like put it in your car if you like take the bus or you take an Uber make it something that you can like throw into a bag and like take with you and when you have time like flip through it and look through it um my next thing is to take a minute and stop in our lives there's so many like awful things going on and like even i'm guilty of it. i complain all the time um but we need to like stop and be grateful for what we have like right now um so anytime you're feeling down or depressed or anxious or whatever, or you feel like your life is just not going where you think it should, kind of try to stop yourself and like hit a reset button and and try to think about all the things in your life that you have that you're grateful for, like your sight um, or being able to eat, even if it's, you know, stuff off the dollar menu at McDonald's or I don't know, like shopping at the 99 cent store you know, maybe you're like, man, I wish I could shop at Whole Foods instead of how I'm so broke, I can only shop at the dollar store. Like, be grateful that you're able to eat and that you're able to like go and walk on your own two feet into the store. You know, like be grateful for what you have because it helps to put you in a more positive mindset and that's gonna help you achieve things that you wanna achieve later on in your life. Um, okay, my next thing is to do something every day that makes you happy. I don't care what it is, it could be, I don't know taking a walk around the block because you're trying to lose weight maybe you haven't like got yourself up to the point where you can like run around the block but taking the first step just to at least walking around the block is going to get you to running around the block so try to do something every day that's going to make you happy and it doesn't have to be like you know going for a walk it could be anything maybe calling a family member or a friend and having a conversation with them but just try to make it that a point to do every day because it's gonna make you feel good. Um, okay, this is probably one of the most important things that I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> and it is to surround yourself with people that you wanna be like. Um, this is really hard, especially you're in school and like maybe you have like a friends group or a friend circle and they're not like the most uh, like positive influences on you. If they're doing stuff that like you don't really wanna be doing or how do I say this properly? Like, say you want to be a singer or a rock star, like that's like your goal in life. You need to be hanging out with people that are in a band. Like, start a band if there's not one already in your school. Do something and find like-minded people that are into the things that you're into so that, um, you know, it's just gonna help you. <laughs> Those people are gonna help you. Find people that you wanna be like and hang out with them. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and then last but not least, this is just what I plan to tell my daughter her whole life growing up. And that is because I feel like maybe I didn't have that growing up, but it's having not someone else to tell you. You don't need someone else to tell you that you can do anything that you want in life. Um, I felt like I really needed that, 
but you don't it's you you just need yourself you need to believe it and believe it in your own heart that if you want to do something no matter what it is in life if you believe it that you can do it then you can achieve anything that you want so don't forget that be your own like cheerleader you know what i mean because nobody else in this world is going to give you what you want you have to go out and get it yourself so happy new year i hope that this video motivates you or inspires you to be the best you in 2019 and i love you all so much i'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and hope to see you in my next video Mwah!